everyone, and welcome to the NutriBlends tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show you what you should know to operate and maintain a NutriBlend smoothie bar system. This first chapter will get you familiar with the equipment you'll be using and how they function together. So, let's get acquainted with your smoothie bar. First, we have the BD-8, the workhorse of your smoothie bar. The BD-8 is a computer-controlled automated blender that pumps all the fruit purees into your smoothie and blends it up. We'll come back to this guy later and show you how to operate and maintain them. Next, we have the bag and box purees, or bibs for short. These are the fruit juices that give flavor to the drinks you'll be making. The juices are pumped into the drink through eight individual tube lines connected into the back of the BD-8. This device is called a QCD. The QCD is a removable anchor securing the tube line to your bag and box. And last but not least, you have all your miscellaneous equipment, from your peanut butter scoop to your powder bins. Okay, so we know what pieces make up our smoothie bar. Now let's put them into action and see how they all work together. The best way to do that is to start making smoothies. Come on, let's go blend one up. Here we'll see the steps for making a large pure helium. Remember, not all shakes are the same. Some have more involved ingredients and may have a different order of operations, so be sure to locate the smoothie you're making on your recipe guide and check the steps, starting from the first and working your way down the list in order. For the first step, add 24 ounces of ice. For the next step, Add the amount of protein that's indicated on the recipe card, in this case, one scoop. Next, secure the splash guard lid. Then simply punch in the drink number and press go. Check which size you're making, S for small or press L for large. This drink is L5, then go. As important as it is to be able to make a shake, it's equally important to be able to sell a shake. Many times you'll get a customer who isn't sure what he wants or isn't familiar with the menu. In that case, it's up to you, as the bartender, to help with the selection. Here are some helpful tips on effectively selling that smoothie. When a customer approaches your bar and is not sure what to order, the easiest thing to do is to help him figure out what he wants. The best way to do that is to narrow down the selection. Keep in mind there are 19 different flavors staring back at him. For someone new to the menu, it can be a bit overwhelming. A simple way to narrow down the selections is by separating them into two general flavor categories, fruit smoothies and milkshakes. Start out by asking which one he's in the mood for, a fruit smoothie or a milkshake smoothie like mocha or peanut butter. Okay, he prefers a fruit smoothie. Now let's break it down a bit more to figure out what to recommend. Does he want something a bit tangier like raspberry or lemon? Or does he prefer something more on the sweeter tropical side like pineapple or mango? Ah, he feels more like a tropical drink. So the last question to ask is whether he wants to burn, build, or bulk up. From there, you can suggest a drink from one of the three categories to match what he wants. Or a customer might bring up this common question. What's the difference between the burn, build, and bulk categories? That's a good question, and like a good bartender, you'll have the answer. What separates the burn, build, and bulk categories is basically the proteins that go into their drinks. The burn category uses a whey protein blend fortified with the fat-burning ingredients CLA, L-carnitine, and MCT oil. Build uses the same protein blend as the burn, only doesn't have the fat burners in the formula, making it a great standard post-workout protein supplement. The bulk protein is mixed in a base of maltodextrin, a complex carbohydrate, making it much higher in carbs than the other two proteins and giving sustained energy and calories for hard gainers looking to bulk up. Well, that's it for the Juice Bar Basics. Now let's move on to discuss tips on how to take care of the equipment so you can have a smoothly running juice bar that'll last you a long time. It should be the responsibility of every bartender to check at the beginning and end of their shifts to see if anything needs attention. A quick and easy way to run a bar check is to start from the bottom and work your way up. Start with the bag and boxes. Simply reach in each box and feel how much juice is left. If the silver bag is flat and wrinkled, 
then it is empty, and it's time to replace it. Remember, without the bag and boxes, your shake won't have a lot of flavor, so it's important to routinely check on them. Next, work your way up to the BD-8 itself and wipe the underside of the juice dispenser with a damp cloth to remove any coagulated juice. That will prevent any sticky juice from clogging the jets. Now see if any powder bins need refilling and if the hardware, such as the scoops, are where they should be. If a bag and box is empty, here's how to replace it. Start by removing the QCD from the empty bag and box. Grip the center portion of the QCD and bracing your fingers against the side tabs, pop it out until you feel a solid click. Slide the QCD cuff from the bag and box nozzle. Note how it does not pop off, rather it slides on and off. Take your new bag and box, open it at the perforated holes, and expose the nozzle. Remember to remove the cap before reattaching the QCD. Next, slide the cuff of the QCD onto the new nozzle until it clicks firmly into place. Push down on the center portion of the QCD until it fits completely down, flush with the side tabs. You should feel a small pop and a final click once it's fitted properly into place. Every time a bag and box is replaced, it is a good idea to flush the tube line for that flavor. That prevents sticky buildup in both the tube itself and in the BD-8 pump. If replacing the bag and box during a busy shift and there is no time, you can flush the tube lines later when things quiet down. Here's how to flush a juice line. Remove the QCD from the bag and box nozzle. Then place the QCD in a blender jar filled with hot tap water. Next, place an empty blender jar in the BD-8. Remove the beige drainage cap from the QCD. Now activate the number of the pump you are flushing on the BD-8 control panel. Hold the juice button and allow the water to be pumped through the tube line into the receiving jar in the BD-8. Continue until most of the water is now in the receiving jar. Replace the beige drainage cap and reattach the QCD to the bag and box nozzle. Finally, activate the line's pump as you did with the water and pump until you see juice once again dispensing from the BD-8. Aside from keeping the dispenser ports clean, there are a few important tricks to prolonging the life of your BD-8 blender. Let's take a look at them. Make sure a bag and box does not run dry. An empty bag and box will tax the blender's pump. If too much ice is added in a smoothie, an air pocket may form while blending. This causes the entire shake to shift upward from the force of the spinning blade. When this happens, the blade spins with no resistance and in time will burn out the motor. If an air pocket is noticed, increase the amount of water in small increments by holding the water button until the smoothie is thin enough to be properly blended. Now let's take a minute to check out how to maintain our blender jars. Since blender jars have moving parts, it's a good idea to follow these steps to avoid corrosion and unnecessary wear and tear. Be sure not to leave water or any other liquid sitting in the pitcher for long periods of time. When finished washing a jar, take a second or two to remove excess water with a few downward shakes. Finally, when drying a jar, set it upright for the first five minutes, then turn upside down. That will help eliminate any water from sitting within the hardware of the jar blade. It seems that covers the basics on juice bar operations. If you have any questions or troubleshooting issues, be sure to consult the staff over at NutriBlend's headquarters. Don't forget to keep an eye on your inventory and always keep your juice bar stocked. Orders can be made simply and easily at the NutriBlend's website, www.nutriblends.net. Thanks for watching and happy blending.